we're going to play tonight some Eddie Harris music. This first group that you're going to listen to, uh, Miss Nia Harris Burnley, is Eddie Harris's granddaughter. We have Langston Hughes the second on alto saxophone. No relation. Aaron Ivy on the drums. And holding down on the fort with the with the bass, Mr. Ray Peterson. All right. They're going to play two numbers for you of Eddie Harris's music. One is called 1974 Blues. Now he wrote this in 1974. <laughs> but people weren't writing music that was odd, neither. And the people were wondering why they were, when they were dancing, they had a couple of extra, extra beats that they couldn't figure out what to do. But it, it was what it was, 1974 Blues. And they're going to segue into Cold duck time. <laughs>
Langston Hughes, Mia Harris Burnley, Aaron Ivey, Ray Peterson. Okay. Please welcome Ed Cherry at the guitar. Oh, you can do better than that. Summer Camargo on trumpet. Don Braden at the tenor saxophone. David Hazeltine at the piano. Jerome Jennings is my rhythmic partner in crime, I mean time. Eddie Harris was an, an amazing scope of the music that he played and wrote. And uh, this is a piece that he wrote uh, on an album that I just, you know, you can't, I guess you can really mess up CDs, but you can really play a record to death where you can't hear the music anymore. <laughs> and this was an album called The In Sound. And one of these tunes, there was, the whole album is killing, so I think you should check it out. But this one is called Crying Blues.
Thank you very much. Brian Blues. Eddie Harris was from Chicago. That's when we first met. After I became so involved with his recordings, I went to school. Uh, I was a graduate of Northwestern, so, uh, and everybody said, well, Eddie Harris lives in Chicago. And I sought him out, and uh, I said, man, I really love your music. I'd love to play one of these days with you. He said, he said you're in school now, right? I said, yeah, but I was ready to quit. My wife was going to choke me if I was, uh, <laughs> but he told me, he says, no, no, finish school. All this will be here when you finish. And uh, he says, if I need you afterwards, you can join the band. I said, OK. And so we'd like to change the pace a little bit. And this is a tune that he wrote quite some time ago. But this was the essence in Chicago. You know, it was all about swing and uh, playing standards and things. But Eddie was such a prolific composer. He calls this one Chicago Serenade.
Chicago Serenade. Now here's one. Eddie Harris's music always sounds easy, but most of the time it's not. <laughs> as quiet as it's kept, Eddie Harris is one of the baddest saxophone players that walked the planet. You know. And uh, if you play saxophone, I need you to check out some of his books and then come back and talk to me. Yes. <laughs> but this one is a precursor to one of his really famous tunes called Freedom Jazz Dance, which we'll play uh, in a few minutes. But this one is called Mean Greens.
Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Um, I played with Eddie Harris in 1972. Eddie Harris, when people ask me about who are the most important people in my career, uh, and I've been very fortunate to play with a lot of wonderful, great people, but I have to always say that Eddie Harris was indeed one of the most influential people in my entire career. He taught me more than just to play music. He was an amazing gentleman, uh, and all he asked of us was to be on time and be able to play. <laughs> now that sounds like a, not much, but it taxed a lot of people, <laughs> especially back then, you know. And uh, we would travel, and he'd be in. You know, we played every night. We, we started at, at 9 o'clock and we finished at 4. That's, that's what we did, six nights a week. And he taught us not to be afraid of music, any kind of music. So he says, if, it's, if we're going to play something funky, he says, it's got to be funky. I don't want to hear no bebop. I don't want to hear no ballad. He says, if we're going to play a ballad, it has to be beautiful. And he says, if it's going to be bebop, I want to hear some bebop. And then he says, well, when we play out, that's avant-garde, whatever you want to call it, I don't even want to hear a triad. <laughs> and, uh, and we played that way every night. And uh, it, was, it was incredible. Uh, and so it's really a real pleasure for all of us to be on here to talk about it, because we've been talking about it. Uh, uh, about how long overdue that, that people are on a bigger scale, and he's left us quite a long time ago, but uh, I was really happy to, to be here. So another applause for yeah. Eddie Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get the bass over to uh, Ray, and... Uh, He's going to do, the, we're going to play this tune that uh, was a really a big hit for him uh, and uh, one of the stable tunes, and it was called Listen Here.
If I don't cut it off, they're going to play forever. So we got a lot of music to play. OK, we're going to do the, this, this one tune that uh, Miles Davis helped make it even more popular. And this is on that same album, In the In Sound, with Eddie Harris. And it's called Freedom Jazz Dance. Oh, yeah.
thank you very much. And then this next one is slow down the pace a little bit, a little different character. And Eddie calls this one Boogie Woogie Bossa Nova.
Boogie Woogie Bossa Nova. Now we'd like to change the pace and feature our saxophonist. And this is uh, a composition that Eddie wrote. You know, th there's a book that you can go online to the eddieharris.com and, 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 and check out the materials there. He was very prolific. And uh, the book has over 150 tunes in it, so we couldn't, they didn't want us to play all of them tonight. <laughs> and uh, so uh, it would have been nice, but we would have been here till midnight, uh, at least for starters. Uh, but this one is a ballad that I want you to uh, uh, pay attention to uh, Mr. Don Braden, and with a little introduction by David Hazeltine, and this one is called Without you, Eddie Harris.
Mr. Don Braden, Don Braden, David Hazeltine, Ed Cherry. surprise for you. This next piece is uh, written by Gene McDaniels and was a big hit with Eddie Harris and Les McCann. And this was a Swiss movement album. Um, and it's called Compared to What? So we're going to have some audience participation a little, you know, <laughs> toward the end of that. So uh, um, let's get it going. Daughter. So I want you to meet his daughter. Her name is Yvonne Harris Burnley.
the lie and lie to love. I'm hanging on, they push and shove. Possession is the motivation that is hanging up. The goddamn nation looks like we always end up in a rut. Everybody now trying to make it a real compared to what? Children killing frogs, more dumb rednecks rolling logs, tired old ladies kissing dogs. I hate the human love of that stinking mud. I can't use it, trying to make it a real compared to what. Cherry at the guitar. Jerome Jennings at the drums. Ray Peterson at the bass. Summer Camargo on trumpet. Don Brayton at the saxophone. Yvonne Harris Burnley. Yours truly, Rufus Reed. Church on Sunday, sleeping not, trying to duck the wrath of God. Preachers filling us with fright. They all trying to teach us what they think is right. They really got to be some kind of nut. I can't use it. Trying to make it a real compared to what?
ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for this wonderful band. Special round of applause to Rufus Reed. Keep those applause going for Eddie Harris. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to Dizzy's Club at Jazz Lincoln Center. As you just heard, we have so many wonderful artists performing here at Dizzy's in the Rose Theater and the Appel Room. You can check out our schedule at jazz.org and see who's performing here at Jazz Lincoln Center. A lot of wonderful and extraordinary artists. Special thanks again to our Chairman Circle members. Um, on behalf of the staff, thanks so much for coming out. Hopefully, we'll see you all very soon. Take care of each other and have a pleasant evening.